We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Welcome to AV Rant. I'm Tom Antry and I'm here with Rob H. Jim. Jim has decided to simplify his complicated HDMI switching problem. Ooh, that's like what we talked about last week. Uh, mm-hmm. By uh, uh, Like we suggested, and has sold his Marantz SR7008 to get a new receiver with HDMI 2.0A and HDCP 2.2. Now that HDMI 2.1 is apparently on the horizon. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, Jim says he'll likely get the dead in AVRX 3300W, but he's confused about how feeding the LG OLED via Zone 2 with the main HDMI output going to the old projector will solve the problem like we said. It was his understanding that the Zone 2 HDMI output was for video with the audio output being either pre-outs or second set of speaker post. Is this not right? He obviously doesn't need audio going to the projector and he does want to be able to use the TV speakers. So how will this work? Also, is the Zone 2 output two channel only and will this be a problem no okay first of all the hdmi outputs all they are they always have the audio i mean i i I don't know in recent memory that you could just get video i mean i guess it's theoretically possible but why would you limit it yeah with the hdmi outputs what comes in via hdmi goes out out via hdmi yeah um now that actually is potentially a bit of a problem if he's sending full lossless audio from his blu-ray player say or his ultra hd blu-ray player because i don't believe the lg tv can decode say dolby true hd or dts hd master audio but jim last week said previously that he doesn't really care that much about the lossless audio he just wants it all to work yeah so as long as you tell all of your sources to send vanilla dolby digital 5.1 so they're sending Dolby Digital 5.1 via HDMI to your uh, now Denon receiver. That same Dolby Digital 5.1 will get sent out of the Zone 2 HDMI output, and your LG can decode that just fine. Yeah. So you don't need a separate audio connection. Uh, and where this comes up is we often talk about how Zone 2 outputs need the source to be stereo only. That is when you're using the Zone 2 pre-outs. Yes. On the back of the receiver. But that's not what we're doing here. Here we're using the Zone 2 HDMI output. Yeah. And that is just whatever comes in via HDMI goes back out. So and that's the how, reason, why it should work. The reason this is is cost. Okay. So mm-hmm. when you're try when you're taking the analog signal that's coming in, you have the option of up converting all of that to HDMI, to digital mm-hmm. with a analog to digital converter that costs money okay also if you take a digital signals coming in and you want it to go out the analog inputs you need a digital to analog converter now that's where we we run into problems here first of all anything that comes on in over hdmi is not getting converted to analog no way uh not the video uh, might, uh, some some av receivers let you do it not all i can't remember if the 3300w does or not but yeah. in jim's case it doesn't really matter so doesn't I matter but get too deep most into of them uh will not and there's there's a lots of times where any digital signal that comes in uh will not be converted to analog to go out the zone two or whatever it is but that's not what the case here because you don't have to worry about that because we're using hdmi and it's fine yeah and the reason we were saying to connect the oled to the zone two is because we're concerned because he has this one 4k source with a 4k display which is oled and a 1080p display which is his older projector and we're concerned that even though you might have the oled you know powered down in standby mode that your sources might still recognize there's a 4K TV somewhere in this signal chain. That's what we're worried about, yeah. That's what we're worried about. So by connecting it to Zone 2, you can independently power Zone 2 completely off in the AV receiver. It's, you know, two button presses to do that. That way, you're sure that your sources, when you want to use your projector, are not going to see this 4K TV sitting idle in standby somehow uh, at the other end of the connection. They're going to be like, I only see one display. That's the 1080p projector. And hopefully and all of work. this will be much easier if you get a Harmony remote. That's right. <laughs> a lot easier. Yeah. 
Want your question answered? Send it to question at avrant.com. Is A.V. Rant. Now go out and listen to something.